Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas. I thought I would do a little video about some of the recovery gear that I carry with me. I do a lot of overlanding by myself, and uh, so I carry a lot more than most people would. Now there's, there's two types of recovery basically. One is recovery where you're gonna get your vehicle unstuck from the sand or you've got it stuck in some kind of a situation. Uh, and then the other type of recovery is where you need to get your vehicle back out to pavement to get a towing truck to pick it up. Uh, so a mechanical failure, something that you can't fix on the trail. So while the equipment I'm gonna talk about cost a little bit of money um, the investment is really good uh, protection against having to hire a tow truck to come back and recover you. So one of the most affordable things I think you can buy is a kinetic rope and some soft shackles. Now I'll post um, below in the comments, I'll post to a, uh, a video that Project Farm did on various different brands. The one that I like is called Bubba Rope. And uh, Bubba Rope is a little bit more on the expensive side, um, but you know, I like to buy quality equipment that'll last a long time versus something that's cheaper. Now, if you, if you don't have a lot of budget, you could, you could buy a cheap version on Amazon. It's likely going to, to work for a few times. Now, kinetic rope, what that basically means is it's a little bit like a rubber band in that as you pull away, um, there's kinetic energy that, that builds up and then when it tightens up, it's gonna pull the vehicle that's stuck out. And uh, people, I see people run these like super crazy, race off and boom, hit it really hard. You don't really need to do that. That's not really good on the rope. Uh, it's potential of breaking it or breaking one of the shackles or some equipment. Um, so it's better just to be um, gentle. Try it first. If it doesn't work, do a little bit more, a little bit more. So here's a, um, a better look at the rope out of the case. Uh, this is a really uh, strong version. Uh, what I like about Bubba Rope is it's, um, it's made in the USA, it has military specs. Uh, this, has, this is 7 8 by 30 feet and has a 28,600 leb breaking point. Um, the soft shackles, which Bubba Rope also has, these are really, um, these are really nice and um, much safer than a D-ring, which is metal. These are very, very uh, heavy duty. They won't break, but if they do break or something in the system breaks, these things can become quite a projectile. So uh, while these are good and strong, um, if you can just stay with the soft shackles, you're gonna really be in a better situation uh, overall. Um, some, some other items I always try to carry, uh, particularly in the desert, is a good sized shovel. Not one of those really small shovels, but one that's not a backbreaker. A uh, shovel will get you out of a, a lot of situations. Probably the best thing that you can possibly get, it's probably the most versatile, is a winch. I know that's not in everybody's budget. Uh, you've got to have a vehicle with a bumper system that will take it. But a winch allows you just a lot of flexibility in recovering other people or recovering yourself. Although in the desert, it's challenging because there's nothing tree-wise that you can connect to to pull yourself out if you're out by yourself. Um, so that's where a dead man would come in. Um, that's one possibility. There's a guy out of San Diego that makes uh, makes a. It's called the Dead Man Two. Now. The problem with those is it takes quite a bit of work to, to dig a big enough hole to bury it in the sand so you have some, some way to connect the winch to pull you out. 
Um, so that's one option. Um, the other option, and the one I would love to get at some point, since I do do so much stuff off by myself, is what's called a pull pal. And uh, basically they're a metal, and I'll put another picture for you on the screen, but those are much easier to put in, pull, and get some, some, uh, some place where your winch can pull you back out. Now with the winch, um, sometimes you are on your frame and deeply buried and that's not enough. So you would have to still with the winch, you would still do some digging and you would use a shovel to get down and probably get some recovery boards underneath to give yourself some traction. Um, I've been in a situation uh, in, on Diablo drop-off where the LR4 was sitting on its frame, just buried, and uh, the winch alone wouldn't recover. We were on a very steep slope, and um, so sandboards were required as, as well. Now, besides the kinetic rope, um, there's another rope that's just a tow rope. And the difference is this does not have any stretch to it and it's designed really to tow a vehicle. And um, I, I, I love uh, Factor 55, uh, I think which Warren has actually bought at this point, but um, really good kits. And uh, this is what will get you out of a situation where you have an engine failure, clutch, clutch went out, something of that nature that you're just not gonna be able to recover or fix the vehicle on the trail and you need to tow back out. Um, this is better used. You could use soft shackles, but then you could also use these D-rings as, as, as well. On your vehicle though, never recover using a trailer hitch. You'll always wanna have something like I carry on the back of the LR4, which is factor 55. I'll put a picture of it for you. You're up at Big Bear, or you're in the mountains somewhere. Uh, you don't want to take um, and and wrap your your winch line around a tree that will kill the tree or potentially kill the tree. And so this is a tree sta strap. Again, this is Factor 55, great product, and this allows you to go around the tree with the strap, and then shackle it or um, soft shackle it into your rope, so it doesn't um, it doesn't cause any issues with the tree. So please, if you're in, uh, in the off-roading, uh, be respectful and, and use one of these so you don't hurt the tree. I also have a Factor 55 rope retention pulley. Um, this is a really nice piece of kit if you wanna, you wanna have more pull power with the winch. That's, this is beyond this video, but I'll maybe do a video showing you how this works and everything. Um, much, much lighter and easier to use than the old style of way of recovery. In the next few videos over this year, uh, 2024, I'm going to really go it, into deeper dives about the different, um, different things that you would want to consider and how to use them uh, using best practices and everything. Now, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a different way of doing it. This is only my opinion uh, with some research, usually from the manufacturer that does the product. But understand that there are many ways to, to skin the cat. So um, my way may not be the way that you do it. Or, and that's, that's great. That's perfect. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you'd like, I would appreciate you greatly. Uh, subscribing to the channel or liking it. I'm trying to grow this channel over the next couple years. All of the products that I've shown you are not sponsored. I bought them all with my own money. I don't have any product affiliation or any kickbacks or anything like that. Sometimes there will be an Amazon affiliate link, which means I get a small percentage if you purchase from that link. It's going to cost you no more. Anyway, this is Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover. If you see me out and about, say hi, and remember, get outside.